came unto Joel. Same thing they said in chapter 1. Almost, except this one little say. The second time. Second time. Reach over to the neighbors the second time. Second time. Now, what did you tell me? My brothers and sisters. Even though I can be in the wrong place. But I'm so glad that the Lord will give me a second chance. Can I get a witness in here? The Bible said that the word came to the Lord, came to Joseph, a second time. And then when he came the second time, he told him to rise, go in to Nineveh, cry out to that great city, and preach unto them, and preach that I hear thee, or be thee. In other words, Jonah was going to tell them what? What does say the Lord? Now Jonah didn't want to go. Because he went away in the wrong direction if he wanted to go. But the Lord gave him a second chance. Come on, somebody. And the Bible said that when he preached to them, the whole city was saying. Now I don't remember reading nowhere else in the Bible where, where it said anybody else preached. And the whole city was saying. Pastor Schiff, I'm jealous of John. Because I wish I could just preach the country. And all of country would be saying. Was saved. Well, I told you all a while ago that you need to hold on to that word. Fish. The Ninevites, I told you, I ain't gonna hold it there, I'm gonna teach you. The Ninevites had the God that was a fish. And when Jonah came out of the fish, Get a whooping. 
for not passing the spelling test. So ever since I've been in the sixth grade, even up until last year, I thought the sixth grade was my worst year in school. I had to pull my transcripts from high school and elementary school just last year. And when I look, I, I, I pulled a transcript out and, 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 and uh, I wanted to go see how I did in spelling in 61, 62. Do you know that I got a B in spelling? And all my life, well, you know, after that, I've been saying that I didn't do good in spelling, but every minute I didn't fuck every week. But at that time, it looked like it was every week. part of my story and then I'm going to go to my second. September 1968, I entered Morris Brown College as a freshman. We had to go to an assembly and Dr. Shipping that assembly, the president, Dr. Milton came to, the, to our freshman class in orientation. He said that this class is the class of 1972. He said, well, some of y'all sitting in here right now are not going to make it. You're not going to graduate. And I'm sitting up in that big and bad. I'm saying, I'm going to finish. I'm going to graduate. I, I, I'm not going to be one of those ones that, that don't make it. And then that start occurring to me after I got in school. And the courses start getting hard. And I start fucking it. And I start saying to myself, now, what's going to happen? If I fuck out of this school. Because I got a mother that's washing people's clothes in their house, sweeping their house, paying for me to go to school. I got a daddy working in a mattress factory, paying for me to go to school. And I said to myself, if I would ever fuck out of college, I would commit suicide. Well, the summer of 1971. I got a letter from the registrar's office area. And it said that you will not be allowed to return to Morris Brown College. I said, oh my goodness. What am I going to do? How am I going to tell my mom? How am I going to tell my daddy that I'm fucked out of college? I didn't know what I was going to do. But I didn't know somebody that could prepare a way for me. And basically, I said, well, you just prepare my mom and my dad and my heart for it because they're hard for it because I can't tell them, but the letter came to them as well. Well, I flunked out of my own crime. About two, three years later, I went to Georgia State. Flunked out of Georgia State. Meeting. With the hands pulled. 